Steve Spofford here for CLC Sports Desk on the Canola Growers Network. Today, CLC correspondent Jim Patton is reporting live from AgriTrade at Westerner Park in Red Deer. How you doing, Jim? Hey, Steve, that's right. I'm here at AgriTrade, and let me tell you, there's excitement in the air. What's all the buzz about, Jim? Well, Steve, it's all about the Clearfield Canola System. Everyone's talking about this exciting team and what it's capable of doing in 2010. With a great mix of veteran and rookie talent, everyone's expecting strong results. From what I hear, the media and fans are looking to Clearfield Canola as the team to beat in 2010. What's your take? It all comes down to what makes a winner in Canola, a team with the depth to consistently get the job done, even against competitors that others just can't seem to beat. The key? Well, it's pretty tough to win at this level without your special teams working hard on every quarter. And that's why I think Clearfield Canola is the one to watch. Their special teams are top notch, and that's critical because there are some really tough acres out there, ones with weeds that other teams just can't handle. Well, absolutely. It's hard to put up good numbers on those acres. But it seems these Clearfield guys hit the field and they play for keeps. Now, Jim, I mean, some people might ask, why not just field some good genetics, spray on your average herbicide, and hope for the best? For sure. There's a place for the simple routine play. You can use that strategy and get away with it on a lot of fields. But try that in wild buckwheat or cleavers country, or where grasses are blocking canola, and it's not going to be pretty. Now, true enough. Special teams are the key, Jim. With Odyssey DLX in the lineup, Clearfield Canola can take out a broad spectrum of weeds and grasses. They can even shut down cleavers, no problem. One pass, and it's all the way to the end zone. And how about wild buckwheat? When it's in the zone playing the clutch and grab, you've got to work it a little differently. I've seen it again and again. You have to have broad spectrum control and true stopping power on buckwheat. And that's where you call in Tensile, a first round herbicide pick for Clearfield. Sure, Tensile's still a rookie, but he's got one big play down already, superior wild buckwheat defense and rotational freedom. Steve, I know we're supposed to have some lively debate, but when you're right, you're right. It all comes down to execution, doesn't it? Speaking of which, I understand you've got Norm Harkness, special teams coach with the Clearfield organization there with you. That's right, Steve. Welcome to the show, Norm. Oh, it's good to be here again, guys. Norm, you guys really got a lot of people's attention after chalking up so many wins in the 2009 season. What was the key to Clearfield Canola's success, in your opinion? Well, to consistently win in canola production, you need depth, the complete package. Early on, we went with the young rookie Tensile on defense and the strong Clearfield hybrid with good numbers on offense. Tensile put the trap on Buckwheat and the rest of the opposing lineup. That hybrid ran straight up the field and never looked back. Our numbers were some of the best we've ever put up in canola. Oh, a solid combo for sure, Norm. What's your outlook for the 2010 campaign? Well, one thing's certain, Steve. We're sticking with Tensile. He's, he's really coming into his own out there. The lineup of Odyssey DLX and Tensile, they can carry this Clearfield team all the way. Hey, it takes a team, and all season long, it was pretty obvious that you and the rest of the coaching staff were doing a lot of things right, too, Norm. Well, that's why Clearfield Canola's getting noticed out here. We're getting the fans on board with our new lineup. The special teams and strategies are working. Reports from the front office indicate season's bookings are already looking strong. So there you have it. A solid insight from Clearfield Canola's Norm Harkness and CLC's own Jim Patton. Thanks for dropping by, Norm. Watch out for the Gatorade. <laughs> hey, it's all part of winning, so bring it on. Thanks, Steve. It's good talking to you. Until next time, Steve. That's Jim Patton and Norm Harkness live from the Agri-Trade Show at Westerner Park in Red Deer. I'm Steve Spofford for CLC Sports Desk on the Canola Growers Network. See you next time, folks. And remember, canola, it's a game of acres.